In this question, an air gap of length D is made in a rectangular iron core of mean perimeter L and cross sectional area A. As shown in the figure, relative permeability of iron is mu r. A coil of uh, capital N turns carrying a current I is bound on the core. Ignore fringing of field at the edges of the gap and leakage of the magnetic flux. Find magnetic induction in the air gap and also find the force of attraction between the poles of this electromagnet. So this is that electromagnet and uh, we have a coil of capital N number of turns and current in this coil is equal to I. So let us assume this is current I which is flowing in this coil. We have to find first the magnetic field in this gap and this question is based on the application of uh, Ampere's law. Application of Ampere's law in a medium. We know that Ampere's law is B dot DL. B dot DL this is equal to mu naught into I enclosed. But in this case of a rectangular iron core due to this current there will be magnetization of this iron core and due to this magnetization some magnetizing currents are induced. The current of magnetization will be induced in this material. So in this current we have to also include the current due to magnetization i am writing this as i dis this i is well known conduction current due to flow of electrons in these wires these are conduction current so this i is conduction current and this i dis will be magnetization current So this is magnetization current and it is very difficult to find this magnetization current. So this form of Ampere's law is not very useful in this particular situation. It is similar to the electrostatics in which if a medium came then we do not apply the Gauss law in electrostatic like this. The Gauss law is this much E dot ds. This is equal to Q total or Q net divided by epsilon naught. And in this Q total, we will have free charges Q free plus Q bound. And it is very difficult to find bound charges in all the situation. So this form of Gauss law is not very useful in case of medium. So in case of medium, this is not so much useful. And in case of medium in magnetic field cases, this is not very useful. So we use some another form and we use auxiliary vector. In this particular situation, we use auxiliary or helping vector known as electric displacement vector which is d dot ds and this d dot ds is only equal to q free and q free is very easy to know and in this situation, we use the auxiliary vector as known as magnetic intensity. This is h dot dl and this is equal to simply i and this i is the conduction current. So conduction current is easy to write. The relation between D and E. The relation between D and E is like this. D is equal to epsilon. This is the permittivity of that medium, electric permittivity of that medium multiplied by this electric field. And relation between B and H. B is equal to the magnetic permeability of the medium H. So B is equal to mu H or we can write H is equal to B by mu. So this, this H is auxiliary or helping vector in case of medium in magnetic field and this D is like a helping vector or auxiliary vector in case of electric field or electrostatics in which we have to deal with the medium. So this is the similarity between the two magnetic field and electric field. So I am using this form, this form of uh, Ampere's law and to apply Ampere's law we have to take a loop and I am taking this rectangular loop which is going like this and we can assume that the magnetic field will be along this um, by symmetry, by symmetry magnetic field will be like this. So magnetic field will be along this material like this and I am taking this rectangular loop and for this rectangular loop the parameter is given as L, mean parameter. So I am taking uh, this rectangular loop in between so that uh, 
the parameter of this rectangle matches with the mean parameter which is equal to l here and uh, this cross section area this cross section area which is uh, like this this cross section area is equal to a so this is the cross section area is equal to a so magnetic field magnetic field will be like this magnetic field is like this sorry so magnetic field will form a closed loop like this it is going like this if magnetic field is b1 in the material and let us assume the magnetic field has value b2 in the air gap i am drawing this part of this uh, electromagnet like this this is the air gap which is equal to d here i am assuming magnetic field value equal to b1 here and it is equal to b2 here sorry it is equal to b2 in the air gap and we know that b dot ds gauss law for magnetic field is equal to zero if i apply this law here and let us take a gaussian surface or a closed surface like this i am taking a cylindrical surface like this so on this cylindrical surface let us zoom this so here the magnetic field is b1 like this and here the magnetic field is b2 like this and let us assume this area is equal to s so this flux is minus b1 into s i have taken the magnetic field along this and this magnetic field is perpendicular to this area by symmetry so this magnetic field will not have any tangential component by symmetry so this is this magnetic field is perpendicular to this area it is normal to the area so b1 minus b1 into s this is the flux through this surface of cylinder and this is plus b2 into s and obviously this would be equal to zero and now b1 is equal to b2 so magnetic field is continuous the value in the material and the value in the air gap of magnetic field will be equal but obviously the value of h is not equal in material and in the air gap in material it will be b upon mu mu of that medium and in this air gap this h will be equal to b divided by mu of the vacuum air gap is vacuum or air it is mu naught so h is not equal in medium and air gap and magnetic field is equal it is throughout equal it is continuous so let us write the expression of ampere's law in terms of h so h dot dl i am using ampere's law on this loop let us assume here it is h1 and in this air gap it is s2 so for for this much part only we, we have we have to use s2 and for the rest of the part we will use h1 and for rest of the part what is h dot dl so rest of the part other than the gap h1 and this will be l minus t and for this air gap this will be h2 into d this is equal to i because uh, in this loop this current is going like this and sorry this total current will be i into n we have n turns so the current piercing this loop will be equal to i into n in each turn the current will be equal to i and this i this total current is conduction current current due to these wires these turns so i have written this and h1 for h1 i can write in terms of magnetic field this is b b1 or b2 both are equal so just i am writing it is equal to b and b divided by mu of that medium mu of the medium and uh, mu of the medium can also be written as mu is equal to mu naught mu r so just i am writing mu naught mu r mu r is relative permeability this is l minus d and in place of s2 i can write b divided by mu of uh, the air gap and this is simply equal to mu naught this is i into n from here i can find the magnetic field the required magnetic field so in material and in the air gap the magnetic field is same and this magnetic field b is equal to from here we can write it 
as equal to mean naught mu r n i divided by l plus mu r minus 1 into d.